previously on my 90 day challenge. I've started my 90 day challenge and I'm gonna ride 100 miles. I think I'm gonna need a bicycle. So what well, a really special treat during my bike shopping was that I had some of the team from Vaisalas show up and tell me that they are gonna join in on my ride and it was such a beautiful surprise and I'm really glad I'm gonna have some friends on the road with me. So here we are at Soul Cycle. This is one of the places I've been training for my 100 mile bike ride. When I can't be out on the road, I train in here with MB and it's just part of my 90 day challenge. So let's go. My main goal is to really get her endurance up and to get her ready for anything. Hills, bumps in the road. It's a mental and a physical challenge. So she'll need to be strong from the inside out and you're safe in a spinning room. It is totally different on a bike. You have the wind, you have the rain, you have elements outside. I do simulate weather in there. I have a, a spray bottle that I spray everybody. That's what we do in there. When you're on the bike, you know, you really need your core to be stable and you need your mind strong. So all of that working together is what you need to get out there and succeed at what you want to do. Get out here now. You know what I just agreed to do for my 45th day is 50 miles on the bike to get ready for the not for the hundred at 90 days. So uh, I gotta get busy. Oh my god, get back here. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're, so You're the best. You're yes. inspiring. After all that time in the spin gym, it's time for me to get out on the road and give my real bike a whirl. Today we're gonna take uh, Taylor on a little ride out to the ocean and back, uh, just to see how she's feeling on the bike. I had a vice salad shake this morning, and I like them plain. I know everyone likes all these crazy creative ideas. And then I had a go shop, and I'm ready to go. I feel like I can do the halfway point, but thinking about doubling that is uh, it's a little intimidating right now. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna have a really good day on the day of the ride, because some days I feel really strong and like I could keep going. And then other days I think, I gotta get off this bike. Unfortunately, when you're on the bike for that many hours, it's very, very uncomfortable and mentally, I think you start to struggle at that point a little bit. I think the biggest challenge for me is my lower back, just getting used to being bent over the bike for so long. And then I've had two right knee surgeries and I definitely can feel it in my knee. And I've had some swelling from that. Let's have it for a little drink. Go mixed with water. For the last half of this ride, I better drink the rest of this. <laughs> Gotta need it. Taylor's looking really good. Uh, she has a positive attitude um, and she looks really strong on her bike. I can just feel those muscles around my knee starting to swell up. Yeah. Victory! At least we made it. We did. <laughs> But it's only halfway. I know, we've still got a ways to it's go. It's so but... intimidating. <laughs> All right, so what's next for me? What do I do? How do I build up for these last 50? What's next is just more time in the saddle. We need to start building you up more miles, more hours every week, and then learning how to eat on your bike so yes. that we can replace the nutrients that we're using. And then once again, that cross training, you'll help develop your strength. More time on the bike. Stay tuned to my 90 day challenge.